Hey, welcome back to Vice Grip Lodge. We're gonna go brush hogging on some new property you guys haven't seen yet, and we're gonna be doing this with a new setup. We're gonna be using the new to me side-by-side, -side, the Swisher brush hog or rough cut, and then we've got the old service truck mounted to the flatbed. See how that does towing? We did a lot of work to that truck as well. Let's get this thing loaded up over to that property. We'll explore it a little bit. We're gonna hock down some grass. We're talking five, six foot tall. There's a bunch of stuff in there I gotta pull out. Try to get that cleaned up before the snow flies. Well, I say that. We just call it winter down here. Maybe snow flies. As you can tell, we're fighting the sunset. So let's hurry. Well, we've been using diamond reel for everything we could. It finally blew up on us. It's so tired and we needed some more grunt. And that's where this thing came in. Now, I refused to buy a side-by-side -side for many, many years. They're just so, ex it's insane how expensive they are. You could buy a, you know, cat eye Chevrolet and take the doors off and call it a side-by-side, -side, basically. But we got this smoking deal on this one. This is, a, it's like a 2017 or 2018. This is used, but it was really well taken care of. Old timer just used it to go down and check his mail. In fact, it had truck tires on it, street tires. But it's got the winch package, it's got the uh, light package, all that. It's got the nice dump bed. And we've been using this for pulling cars, pushing cars, hauling gravel and sod and seed and hay and grass. And, and uh, we're gonna try to use it for this. We got a hitch in there. And then we got the uh, Commercial Pro Brush King. This is a Swisher unit. You guys saw me using this, I think, last season as well. But we're gonna fire it up again and go try to hack some stuff down. This is my uh, old aluminum flatbed. We've had this for many, many, many years. It was my first big YouTube purchase. It was a decent car trailer. It's done us really good. We just got a straight bumper hitched here. We don't have a ton of hitch weight, so I think we're gonna be okay without the receiver hitch. I do need to get that on there though. You'll probably notice the uh, big service tanks and all that stuff is gone off of this truck. And I may do another video on this truck. I'm thinking about painting it actually. Cleaned up the interior, got a seat cover in it, all of that. And maybe I'll save it for a surprise, but we've done quite a bit of work under the hood as well. The big compressor is gone. We found out it was running on seven in a very comical way and a bunch of other stuff. but been driving the wheels off of this thing so let's get this loaded up head over to that property see how much we can get chopped down before sundown i started the other day but man it's late october since september 22nd i've been on the road 26 days so when i'm home it's property chores basically whoops yeah we'll pretend that didn't happen. I should move that like down there or something, get a little bit more room on this. I paced this off and let's say I was close, but a little short. Oh, well, here's the thing though. This is a lever basically. So if I drop the front, that'll pick up the rear and the deck is already on the bottom. So I think we're gonna be okay. That'll just sit flat. We don't even need to strap that down. We'll just throw a pretend safety strap around the side-by-side -side rig here and we'll be ready to rock. I upgraded this with some, these are called Frontier. Listen, they're the cheapest thing on eBay, but they've been doing really good for us. We run this through the hay fields and all the gravel and all that stuff. I just needed something better than what was on here. Like I say, there were just some street tires on here before. And this is the wheels that came on the rig it's completely bone stock. It hasn't been messed with, anything like that. And it's only got, I think, 315 hours. But again, we got such a good deal on this, I just couldn't turn it down. Okay. Hopefully it does okay up in this property. It's a lot of, it's called Valve Cover Valley, but really it's a mountain, like this. And then on the back side, there's a valley with some water, but we got four W, so hopefully that'll help us out. All right, couple pumps. Flip the choke on. You know, a cold start here. Oh, what a good truck. All right, let's head over.
made it. Whoa, about went down already. One thing that's hard to explain is the the pitch or the altitudes of the property. You're just gonna have to trust me. It is steeper than it looks. <laughs> so there's a road that goes up and back through here and down over the other side. And then the property goes way, way back this way, up over that mountain, basically. And uh, we just haven't shown it yet because it's not really autom We're not putting cars out here, so it's not automotive related. We bought this a long time ago for, well, to be honest, it's for our kids. We're trying to build a legacy and there's plenty of room to put three houses up out here for the boys and they wouldn't have to worry about that. They could figure out their housing and focus on school and all that stuff. Or at least that's what's in my head. But until then, we're just gonna try to maintain it and uh, we can hunt on it, we can gold pan on it, we can do all that stuff. I started the other day and just ran out of time. You know, everything I do is in little spurts. You know, I gotta get this and this and this and then that done. So this is what that looks like. But you can see some of the stuff back here is taller than me. And I'm Sasquatch, you know, I don't know how many hundreds of inches tall. But I gotta get this hillside done I want this to look nice from the road, basically. We're gonna go way back up in there, see how much of that stuff we can get. And then if we have time, before the sun goes down, we'll unhook the mower and we'll sneak back in there a little bit and see how far back we can get. I haven't even, we haven't explored all of this. We don't know what it looks like, to be honest. We don't know how far back it goes. Now, even though we've had this a while, I haven't hogged this yet. And that's why this is so out of control. And there's a lot of stuff out here. There used to be, I think, a building behind those pines or something. There's a bunch of wood, brush, pallets, and uh, I've been hitting a lot of fence. I'll show you quick. Ugh. This is a chunk I hit last time. And thankfully, this Swisher has uh, breakaway blades, or that's what I call them. I don't know what the technical term is, but... When you see those huge mowers, commercial mowers in the ditches or like three wides, the bat wings, they have the blades that are like, there's a central hub and they swing off of it, right? Well, that's how these are. So if you hit something that it won't cut, the blades kind of break away or just flip back. And then if you just stop for a second, they'll come back into rotation and come back around. Saves your machine, saves the blades, less maintenance, no damage. And that's basically all that happens when I run into this wire stuff. It just throws this out the side. You can hear it have a fuss for a second and it comes back around. But we're going to try to avoid all that stuff if we can. It's just kind of hard to see. And the county is getting... I'm going to have to fix this. I think the easement's only three feet. So from here on is basically my responsibility. Some big rock in here and we've got some drainage. Just gonna have to be careful. Thankfully they came out and in Tennessee they have these big hydraulic arms that come out and set the mowers down. I don't know if anybody else has those, but thankfully they did this for me. So we're gonna try to basically just do all this up in here that was recently cleared. It was all trees before we purchased it, but they cleared it. I think they were hoping it was gonna be kind of a single family home up here and then, you know, whatever land in the back, so. All right, let's get unloaded and get to it. Guess we'll start right here. Let's go ahead and try to clean up this part right here first.
kind of just driving right now, no rhyme or reason. See, we got a big rock right there. Woo, just chewing. stuff in here I probably got to clean up at some point but it's not terribly bad got kind of this big rock ledge here now the mower will probably be okay because it's got these air filled tires and that big skid plate but this here since it's kicked up from last pass I'm gonna try to grab this thing oh boy that's heavy I'm gonna throw it under the tree here down here on the corner, no idea what's in here. We're just going to kind of go for it. Oh boy, four wheels digging. Oh, we might get stuck back here. Basically, if we can run it over with this side-by-side, -side, that mower is going to cut it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. This is going to get spicy. size of my foot. Oh, it's fine. Don't even worry about it, except we're stuck in a tree. <laughs> Just erased it. How is that even possible? Kind of just going rogue right now. We're way up in the, the side of the mountain, basically. I've been about 100 yards back there and that's it. Oh, we're 
we're at a very bad angle. Oh. The road we came in at is down there. Just, uh, they must have done this with the skid steer. But I'm gonna try to work my way down this tree line down to the bottom just to see if we can actually do this with the side by side. Oh, there's a big hole there. Almost snapped my leg off. Two of them, noted. This does seem to be working better than that little tractor though because that's so tippy, you know. All right, let's see if we can get back down. We need to turn downhill. Woo. Okay. Oh man, might have to do the old ditch and back routine on this. Too. This is so steep, my speaker went rolling out of it. Boy, this is, it'll do it, but it's definitely, you know, spinning up the side hill. And then we're sliding down this one, trying not to roll it basically. But we're making her happen. No idea what's back here. Gotta give her a go. Mower hasn't stopped yet. Oh, we make a little motorcycle trail here. Well, it's starting to get dusk. I figured we could go explore a little bit before it gets dark. This is the way to go. I ain't kidding ya. Uh, crawling up and down. You can't see it, but I've got like three rows on that end. Crawling up and down that hill, this stuff here. Climbing up the side. The little tractor wouldn't have done that. This thing is, it doesn't even make sense. It's a wood chipper. It's not a mower, okay? And uh, we got quite a bit knocked down today. Pretty happy with this. It's not the lightest machine, got to be honest, so it's a lot of back and forth, but this is kind of rock that's probably going to have to be weed-eated, but just trying to maintain this road as much as I can and just keep the curb appeal for my neighbors. Anywho, let's go ahead and unhook the mower, jump in the side-by-side, -side. let's follow this trail up as far as we can. I don't want to beat up the machine or scratch it all up, but... Let's get up in as far as we can and then we'll walk a little bit. Let's start showing you some of this property before it gets dark. Well, I've been driving a while back in here and it's starting to get pretty tight. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. saw back in here. Trim some of this up. Man, this is a beautiful piece of land. A lot of people would call this useless because it's so mountainous, but I don't know. I like it. We got a really good deal on it too. There clearly used to be some sort of road or something at some point through here. I've never been back this far.
man, you could camp out here in a heartbeat. Look at the colors. Oh man, this is good. Yeah, this was a road or something, way, way back in the day. It's really scratching up my rig here. Oh, oh, dang. Uh oh, I think we got a dead end. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Where does this go now? Look at this. You can't tell me this didn't used to be a road. This used to be a road back in the day. There's no way it wasn't. I don't know if there's, I don't even know if there's a house back here or nothing. This is a true story. We were looking for some property, cheap property. Jessica actually found this and um, she knew the agent that was listing this. We called her and said, hey, is it good property? Well, it's very, it's heavily wooded, it's mountainous, but there's a, a stream or a creek on it. It's, there's a lot of rock, it's pretty, and it's cheap, and we just bought it. So we don't know the history. There could be a house foundation back here. There could be a barn. I have no idea. There's so much of this way. Not a clue. I don't know, if you guys want to see a full exploration journey let me know maybe we come out here and just camp for a few days and just hike around and see what we got out here but I'm gonna go as far as this it looks like an old driveway or something we're gonna go as far as I can on this machine without beating it up too bad oh, this poor thing it's getting really tight I think we're gonna have to walk from here. Hopefully this starts again. Been uh, walking quite a while. I don't know how much farther I dare venture. It's getting pretty dark. I see something back there. I don't know if that's a... What is that? Okay, the road has ended. We're in like a cul-de-sac. But look. Is that, a, is that a school bus or a RV? How did that get back here right now? Hmm. Um, well, got to be honest. I don't know where I'm at. I got a wobble pop and gumption. So we'll figure out. A way to get out of here but listen i found like a school bus or some sort of camper looking thing back here i need to drop a pin figure out where i'm at on the property see if that thing is on my property line or area and then we can maybe come back and explore i just i don't listen we're in tennessee you just don't wander around the guys property i'll tell you that much if you guys want to see more of this stuff, I don't know, bleep bloop it down there in the comments. Maybe we'll come back a little bit more prepared, figure out our lines, property lines. There's definitely something back here. I don't know what what that's about. It could be just an old hunting shack. Someone drug a bus out here and set it down for hunting. It's really hard to say. 
about this place as is. So, but anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Ice Grip Lodge. Thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry it's been sparse on content, but guy's been pretty busy. Gotta be honest. Oh, broke my ankle third time. Thanks guys. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.